Hey, Sofrito Lovers, this is Ben Ramos bringing you this week's mukbang from my palatial home here in the Northwest Bronx. The Bronx is the home of hip hop and salsa. I am bringing you some French fries and some boneless wings from Wingstop. I do believe that these are uh, the, <clears throat> what was it? The spicy uh, Korean and um, these are the Hawaiian, I believe. I don't, even re I don't even remember what I ordered from Wingstop. It was so so long ago. I, I ordered it on Uber Eats and it took them fucking forever to get here. So mi gente, mira, tengo hambre. I've got some nice ranch. Took them, off, took them out of the receptacles that they came in. I'm still following some of that COVID stuff. I took it out, uh, dipping it in ranch and it's time to eat. They're boneless. Mm. Mmm. Yeah. Mmm. Yeah, that was Hawaiian. I got spicy Korean and Hawaiian, I believe. So, Frito lovers, how are you? I hope you're doing well. I'm good. Let me take my glasses off, relax. Oh. I got some fries too. Did I mention the fries? Don't remember. Got some fries. Boneless wings from Wingstop. The fries are pretty good. I'm not the biggest fan of their fries. I think they're a little overdone. And they tend to do that a lot. They tend to over fry them a lot. Mm. They're good, but they could, in my opinion, take them out a little earlier. So Frito Lovers, I'm doing great. Still working, still employed. Still kind of going crazy at work. Things are so different. Things are so new. Look, this is the, this is the, the spicy Korean. Mmm. 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 This wing stop opened up maybe maybe in the fall of 2019. I don't even think it's been around for a year. It actually replaced a Korean barbecue place that I really liked. But unfortunately, unfortunately, I think I was the only person that liked that place because it shut down immediately after opening. I was like, what's up? The Bronx doesn't like Korean barbecue. Mm. Doing great, mi gente. Look at the wing stop. Mm. Doing great, guys. Just working and grinding and getting used to the new job flow. Mm. Oh, so good. I spent the weekend with my Bear Bear David. He's off of quarantine. So we were able to hug and kiss and smooch and do other stuff. It was wonderful. Mm. Things are good, folks. Mm. Just enjoying life. Enjoying some wings. Still getting acclimated. I'm actually spending far more time at the school than I am at home. Remember how I told you I was leaping around from place to place? Now that the school year has officially started, You know, we're, we're spending a lot more time in the school building. I'm working less from home, working less at other sites and staying mostly in my office in the school. Social distancing, wearing gloves, wearing my mask, doing all that stuff we're supposed to be doing. Mm. It's going great. My only issue is a toothache. I don't know if you guys remember a few months ago, Right before the pandemic, more than a few months ago, I mean, folks, it's been six months of this stuff, six, seven, eight months of this stuff. I was supposed to have a tooth extraction done. You guys remember that I had a, a, root, a root canal and then a crown. I was supposed to have a wisdom tooth removed because it's got a big old cavity on it. I was saying the last week is when it started kicking up hard. It like hurts to chew sometimes. If you notice, I may be choosing, chewing more to one side of my face than the other. So 
So this Friday, I'm getting this wisdom tooth with the big old cavity on it removed so that I don't wake up one morning with half of my face swollen, full of an infection, because that's actually the worst time to get any dental work is when it's really bad because apparently the Novocaine and or whatever anesthesia they put into your mouth probably won't work as well as it's supposed to because your mouth is so swollen and your blood vessels are so dilated or whatever the hell it was explaining to me. So the best thing to do is whenever you get a toothache or whatever, don't hold off, get the extractions, get the cavities filled, get all of that stuff when it's minor pain and not major pain or it will be extremely painful. So I'm not playing around with this. I already have a, like a minor toothache that won't go away. So on Friday, I am getting, I'm not, I have not been showing you guys the food. I am getting this thing yanked out of my head before it gets worse. Mm. Guys, I'm sorry, the setup is still whack. I know I say that every week. Guys, my desk is, an office space. I have nothing but files and I'm too lazy to move stuff around. This is the wing stop. Little bit of a life update. No Parque Chronicles. There have been no Parque Chronicles. It is getting colder. New York City nights. Especially here in the Bronx near the reservoir. There is a nice, nice more than autumn cold in the air. So the park is officially, I was gonna say closed, but it's not closed. It's just officially abandoned. No, no one's hanging out in the park playing music at night anymore. And you know what, after all that stuff that happened, maybe it's for the better that the park chill out for a few months. So no Parque Chronicle. Still in this neighborhood, crazy stuff still happens. It's the Bronx, it's New York City. Mi gente, it's going to be crazy. I might be retiring the Parque Chronicles for a while. Mm. Mm. David's good. Spent the weekend together. Had a great time. I found this wonderful turkey and spicy sausage chili recipe. made it for Sunday night dinner, he loved it. He's not a big fan of spicy food, but luckily this, this recipe wasn't that spicy. It wasn't that spicy of a chili, to be honest. I, I was thinking to myself, I wanted it a, a little bit more kick. You can find that recipe, wonderful website, um, not website, well, it is a website, but it's also a YouTube channel. Chef Z Cooks, she's this amazing Dominican sister who just breaks down Dominican and Caribbean cooking in such an easy, fun format. And um, I love watching her channel. I love visiting her website. Mm. I've learned a lot of great tricks on how to make some good Caribbean food. Mm. So I made a delicious chili over the weekend. He loved it. I loved it. Mm. Things are good, mi gente. So frito lovers, things are good. Things are good. Things are getting stable. Mm. New York City is seeing a couple of increases in, in the pandemic. We've got certain religious communities just do not want to stay indoors, don't want to wear their masks. Causing our infection rate to rise. But, you know, there's steps that are being taken. Mm. Mm. I really like this ranch. It's very creamy, very buttery. I like this ranch. I'm not the biggest ranch fan. I'm one of those weirdos that sometimes I like my wings either plain, especially since these wings already come seasoned and, and covered in spice and covered in sauce. I'm like, why do I need more sauce? But I'm not mad at it. I'm glad I got it. You see, you guys see, it's like this uh, really nice, creamy ranch. 
as opposed to the blue cheese, because I actually love the blue cheese. So I'm one of those weirdos that I actually prefer blue cheese to ranch. I think next time I do Wingstop, I may get the blue cheese. Mmm. As you can see, Sofrito lovers, I'm just randomly going from topic to topic. <laughs> just another weekly update. Things are good. I've said that 50 times already. Things are good. That's my go-to. Mm. Like I said, it's getting colder in the city and that's gonna be affecting a lot of the outdoor dining that's been taking place in the city. Where a lot of places are gonna start going back to just um, just delivery, especially if they can't abide by all of these regulations when it comes to indoor dining. A lot of mom and pop places are small. And indoor dining is not, indoor dining the way they want them to indoor dine may not be realistic. So we got to support our businesses. We got to order out as much as we can, <laughs> depending on your own economic situations. Everything in balance. Doing great, folks. Mm. Just bringing you my wing stop dinner. I like it. I don't think it's something I want to eat all the time. But the wing stop is pretty good. The fries again. The fries are good. That one felt like a potato rock, to be honest. They're overdone. They're too crispy. And they're always like this. It's like they're hyper crispy. Great ASMR, but... I don't like the way they taste. I feel like they dry out. And making sure to chew on the right side because the left side, excuse me, the left side is a little sensitive. Doesn't hurt that much, but it is sensitive. Took a shower, wetting my hair. My hair is not cut. It's still crazy. As you can see my beard, I'm still a werewolf. My hair is crazy, but I just finished taking a shower and I didn't slick it back, but I just combed it a little bit back. Combed it and hand rubbed it back. Hey, sofrito lovers. Just touching base with you guys, letting you guys know everything is okay. <laughs> mm. Let me get one more wing. Mmm. Mm. Really good, you guys. Mm. So, Frito lovers, I'm going to finish these off camera. Just wanted to touch base with you guys real quick. I hope you guys are doing well. I hope whatever you're eating is delicious. I hope you guys are staying safe. Wear your mask, social distance, wear your gloves, order in. Be careful, especially if you're in one of those states that I'm not technically allowed to visit. Mmm. <laughs> They're nice and seasoned, but God, they're so hard. Mm. So, Felipe lovers, stay safe. Take care of yourselves. Stay home. Cook. Order in. And if you have to go taste for yourself, go out there. Be smart. Be safe. Abide by the rules. Take care of yourself and take care of each other. Como siempre, mucho, mucho amor. Buen provecho. Hope you guys are doing well. Nos vemos pronto. Mucho, 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 mucho amor.